Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll solve problem number 112 and 113. Problem number 112, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. It says find two numbers that differ by 15. So we have two numbers that differ by 15. Let's call the two numbers x and y. So if we have x and y, we are told that they differ by 15. Their difference is 15. x minus y is 15. So that's our first equation. We are further told that whose sum happens to equal to thrice their difference. Whose sum happens to equal to thrice. We learned the word thrice in our vocabulary lesson on day number 63. In our vocabulary lessons, in day number 63, we learned the word thrice, which we, learn, which we know is a very fancy way of saying three times as much, whose sum happens to be three times their difference. Their difference we know is 15. So their sum has to equal, has to equal three times their difference. Three times their difference is 45. That's it. The rest is very straightforward. Add the two equations. When we add the two equations, y is going to cancel out. And x plus x is 2x, which happens to be 60. And therefore, x happens to be 30. If x happens to be 30 and difference is 15, which implies that y would have to be what number 30 minus what number will equal 15? The answer is 15. As you can see, their difference is 15 and their sum is 45. That's all it is. But it's very simple, very straightforward. There was nothing in it at all. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do 113. In 113, we have two people, A and B. A and B, we are told they begin to play, begin to play with each other. They're going to play with each other, they're going to gamble. A starts with a starts with $100, we are told. And B starts with $60. So A is going to begin the game with $100 in his hand. B is going to start the game with $60. Let's we'll see what happens. We are told that they're going to continue to play. They continue to play until until what happens? Until A has third of the money that B does. A has third of the money that B does. The question simply is, at that point the game ends. Game ends. The question simply is, how much did a lose. How much money did A lose? If you like, if you like, if you wish to solve this thing yourself, you could pause the video, do the problem yourself, and then continue the video and compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. I'll give you five seconds to, pause, to be able to pause and unpause the video if you like. Well, right, let's begin. So we have two people. A and B. A and B. We know that they start out with they start out with $100 for A, $60 for B. <coughs> the amount that they end, the amount that they end the game with, the amount that where the game finishes, those are the amounts that are unknown to us. And those are the amount that we have to look for. Let's call them A and B. Small letter A and small letter B. So A represents, small letter A represents the amount that Mr. A finishes with. And the small letter B will represent the amount that B finishes with. And what do we know about A plus B? Well, the A plus B, A plus B, the amount that A finishes the game with and the amount that B finishes the game with because of the fact that there are only two people playing the game would have to equal the amount that they start out with. So that's our first equation. That's our first equation. What else do we know? We also know that the game ends, the game ends, we are told, When game ends, at what point? When the game ends, we are told that A has third of the money that B does. 
A has third the money that B does, B, but we know B has B dollars at the end. So the amount of money that B has is B dollars, and that happens to equals to third of the money that A does. So if the amount of money that A does, amount of money that Mr. A has is A dollars, small letter A, this amount has to equal third of this amount. So if you take the third of that amount, that's where the game ends. That's all there is. That's how simple it is. Now we just simply have to solve for it. If you, if you cross multiply, if we cross multiply, we find that B equals three times A. That's where the game is going to end. In other words, B has three times the amount of money that A does, which is why A has third of the money that B does. That's it. Let's substitute it in here and we're done. B we know X has to equal 3A. Let's put it in here. So B equals 3A. So we have A plus B, which we know has to equal 3A at the end of the game. And the rest is very easy. The rest is very simple. So 4A will equal 160, which in turn implies that A would have to be 40. If A is 40, that implies that B must be because of the fact that they add up to 160, if A has 40, B must have $120. And which makes perfect sense, because as you can see, if B has $120 at the end, then A does indeed have one-third of the money that B does, or B has three times the money that A does. And that's all there is. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.